Channel. Eis und Herr Inam verwahrt. Hey guys, once again welcome back to my channel. I'm here to help you guys with my best subject knowledge and ideas with you. So stay tuned to my channel. This tutorial will be highly effective for aeronautical and aerospace engineering students, especially those who are preparing for competitive examination. I will, today I will solve few MCQ questions on flight mechanics. If you have further inquiry, you can drop down to my mail to 9489 ash at gmail.com. First question For an aircraft to be statically stable, the center of gravity must be a head of aerodynamic center after the aerodynamic center, a head of neutral point and after the neutral point. You must remember this fundamental concept. The center of gravity must lie a head of neutral point when there will be a positive stability or we can say positive static merging. If the center of gravity lies behind or after the neutral point that means it is in static the margin is negative or it is or we can say statically unstable aircraft so our right option is is lies ahead so right option is answer gravity at the neutral point then the aircraft static stability is minimum aircraft has a maximum possible stability aircraft is neutrally stable none of the above we call this figure the first one what happens the center of gravity lies on the neutral point and the other two are different in the first case we can see what happens to the momentum it's getting zero so the aircraft is neutral instead so the right answer is answer c next comes for an aircraft considering the wing alone to be destable uh, destabilizing the center of gravity must always be ahead of the wing of aerodynamic center after the wing at the dynamic center ahead of neutral point and after the neutral point these are very, very important conceptual questions so you must remember this concept that is typically the wind alone will be negative that is when what condition when the dcmg by d alpha is greater than that means positive value so our right answer is answer b when the wing that means when the center of gravity lies ahead of the aerodynamic center then the aircraft is unstable or destabilizing effect next comes a match the following mode 1 and properties here we have in group 1 short period mode wing rock fugoid mode dutch roll and the other side we have a coupled roll yaw oscillation angle of attack remains constant and the roll oscillation speed remain constant and we have our options now before that let's recall the first one it displayed it is called as dutch roll see it is going yawing then again rolling yawing rolling so dutch roll we can say it is a combination of a, or a coupling of a rolling and yawing movement but in case of roll uh, long period you see here what you can see the angle of attack at each instant along the flight part is essentially constant that means for long period the angle of attack remains same and other terms the speed and altitude varies in case of short that is constant speed and altitude it moves in a constant speed and maintains a constant altitude so if you recall that this match the following so what is happening the dutch roll is getting 
it's a coupling between roll and yawing uh, roll and yawing oscillation so one uh, that is i will go one so i one is either b or d okay then we have fucoid so for the fucoid what we know the fucoid we have a constant angle of attack so h2 h2 so we can see already these two are getting matched up so other two you, you may uh, refer back or you may not so our right option is option b an aircraft is in state and level flight at a constant speed v it is disturbed by an symmetric vertical result in a fucoid period fucoid oscillation of time period t assuming that g is the acceleration due to gravity and given approximately by see this is an formula you have to for a fucoid motion you have to remember the formula that is root 2 pi v by g and the option is option d a problem and aircraft in level flight encounters a vertical gust which excites the fucoid mode. The fucoid motion completes 10 cycles in 50 seconds and its amplitude reduced to half of its maximum value in 25 seconds. The eigenvalue of the fucoid mode are. So they are having some set of uh, options. So let's move to the solution. See first what they have given. They have given the number of cycles. Display their number of cycles. Then they have given the half. That is when reducing the time period. What you get from 50 to 25 seconds. Now this is your general characteristic equation. That is lambda equals to lambda r by plus and minus lambda i. That is these are the r remains for real imaginary. So we have i complex item. Now. You have to remember this formula that is t half equals to 25 second equals to 0.693 by lambda r. So from here we can find the lambda it is 0.028. From there what you can do is you check the answer question. From here we have only one option that is 0.028 of lambda r. So it's nothing but our right answer is option C. A damping of a road motion can be improved by high wing, behavioral angle and swift angle. High wing, aileron design, swept angle. Low wing, dihedral angle and swept angles. Low wings, aileron airfoil design and swept angle. So you have to remember when the damping of a rolling motion takes place. So obviously dihedral angle plays an important role. After dihedral comes a swept angle because it also increases the lift then the high angle. So it's nothing but our right answer is option A. Swept bank beam aircraft, the Dutch rule is solved by installing phrase aileron, dehedral angle, your damper, all of that. So, you have to remember how the, there is only one way to uh, recover the Dutch rule, it's nothing but the your damper, that is option C. The Dutch rule damping is increased by lateral directional stability and small dehedral larger directional stability and small dihedral larger directional stability and large dihedral small directional stability and large dihedral so we have to make a point how we can increase but our main thing is to decrease so previous uh, previous um, few questions we have seen for improving we need a high dihedral so obviously if you have to if the dutch rule is getting increased so that means we need a small dihedral and directional stability has to be minimum we cannot make it so large so nothing but the, our option a i hope this session was very useful for you guys and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates and don't forget to share this video with your needy fellows and stay blessed take care